Okay, Chris, where are we headed? We are heading into the visitor center at Congaree National Park. Yep, just outside of Columbia, South Carolina. Okay, we are heading into the visitor center, which is actually a really beautiful yeah, building. Yeah, in the woods. Back here. I like this setup. Yeah. And we're here on Memorial Day, and it is not very crowded at all. Right. Welcome to Congaree National Park. Now, this is the only national park in South Carolina, and it is probably, we learned at the Visitor Center, the largest, best preserved floodplain forest probably in the entire United States. So this is a floodplain forest, but man, it looks like a swamp. And I'll tell you what, I love mountains. I have a real affinity for the plains, a deep affinity for the plains. But dang, I love a good swamp. I mean, right? <laughs> so we're gonna check out, they have cypress trees here. They have loblolly pines. It's also known as the redwood forest of the East Coast due to the size of the loblolly pines, which are some that rank, they're definitely the largest in the state, but also some that rank in the top largest trees in the nation. So uh, let's check this out. And they have, they have a really cool boardwalk, um, an elevated boardwalk, and then also a lower boardwalk. And some of it's going to be flooded, so you'll see that at different parts. But we're still going to check it out and dig into the swamp a little bit. I think this is the end of the line here. It's getting pretty deep on the, they said it's, it's in a small flood stage now. So we'll turn back and keep going another way. Now there used to be a lot of old growth uh, floodplain forest in this part of the country from Virginia all the way down to Texas um, but we learned at the visitor center that this is one of the few places it was preserved and it was preserved originally by uh, a, a timber tycoon who actually was had you know logged a lot, a lot of, of forests in different areas but he saved Congaree and he wanted it to be you know he kind of preserved it as going to be the last old growth and sure enough that's exactly what happened and then I guess in like the 50s then they started to lobby for preserving it and eventually it became a national park. So this is a really, really special place in our country and a special place for South Carolina. And here's a loblolly pine and you can see, just wait for it, they shoot way up above the canopy. You can see where the canopy ends and they're way up above there. And then they branch out kind of like sequoias, they kind of remind you of that. Just beautiful. Here we came out on one of the viewpoints is a lake and we just saw a snake cross and some nice alligator gar and a Weston. bunch, that's Weston Lake and we saw a bunch of turtles so it's a nice breeze here, get to enjoy the lake. Okay, so we actually opted to put our pants legs on, or you can see them, <laughs> due to the, <laughs> due to the uh, mosquito threat. of threat. mosquitoes. Yeah. What was there, 32 different types of mosquitoes? 21. I think 21. 21 different types of mosquitoes. Yeah. Poison ivy. But, but we did really well with and that. And this was in the propaganda for the place. You wonder if they actually want you to come visit. <laughs> <laughs> she keeps, Jen keeps rattling this stuff off. I'm like, what? Where are we going? <laughs> so we, yeah, we, we donned the pants. 
Yeah, just and to honestly, be safe. It, and it's hot. It's in the 90s here, but in the back here, it is much cooler in Congaree because you're in the shade pretty much the whole time, and then also down by the water, the the lower boardwalk where you're close to the water, it's it's much more cooling, which I did not think it would be that way, but it is. Um, and then also, I did want to make another special note that another reason that this place is so special is this time of year in particular is that they have the um, what's it called? Synchronized. Synchronized. Fireflies. So what happens is around this time of year, like towards the end of May, early June, um, the fireflies that come here um, synchronize themselves at night so they all flash on at the same time. Which would be pretty amazing to see. Yeah, we missed it by two days. Yeah. So if you're here during that time, check out the National Park and see if see if that's going on and then you can come down and check it out. But that would be That'd that would be, be really seeing. Yeah, that's and it only happens amazing. in a couple places on the entire earth. So yeah, really cool. This is one of them. Another bonus point for Congaree. Sure. How about it? Hope you enjoyed this visit to Congaree National Park just outside of Columbia, South Carolina. And we have added another national park to our list. And I hope you add it to yours and you get down here someday to check this out. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you next time.